welcome to the product demonstration of image processing based fire detection using raspberry pi so in this part we are using uh, raspberry pi camera and raspberry pi and also using a buzzer so we can see here uh, buzzer with the buzzer board and also we are uh, providing the power supply using this adapter it takes 230 volts of power supply from input and it will uh, give you the uh, 5 volts of dc output that uh, 5 volts of dc output will be given to this raspberry pi using this b type pin now uh, so uh, before we need to uh, on this uh, power supply so we need to go for the mobile settings i will show you uh, how to connect this uh, raspberry pi connection so first of all we need to go for the hotspot settings so here we can see in the hotspot settings so hotspot hotspot name should be prior to uh, 6445 and the password should be 129 so in this uh, characters we can see there will be a no capital letter and there will be no any space and passwords are also 129 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz then only this raspberry pi uh, wi-fi module will be connected to our mobile network so we are providing the our mobile network to this raspberry pi to send a uh, email alerts to our registered email and also it will send a messages to the uh, phone using Twilio app now i am giving the power supply for the installation process it will take some time so after that it will give a buzzer alert after ins installation so and also here we can see if any device will be connected it will show connection management so here we can see one device is connected so you can see the device name also raspberry pi and the system is ready now I am giving this fire to this near to this Raspberry Pi camera so we can see now I have given so we can see also it is taking the images that images will be transmitted uh, to this Raspberry Pi then this Raspberry Pi will be processed that image we already loaded that images fire based images to this uh, Raspberry Pi using Python language so it will be uh, take the images that images will be compared with that loaded images then the images will be equal then it will be send a message alert and also it will send a email of the fire so we can see Twilio app messages from here so here we can see this send like send from your Twilio alert and also here you can see at a alert fire detected and also we can see uh, in a mail it will send with the image so here we can see so here we can see this is the email so now we can see this is an image and it will give uh, mail as a fire alert so in this way so we can download this images also it will be uh, only in the, uh, identify this fire only so we can see the mark also here so after that uh, it will be take some time to off this buzzer so in this way this part will be works so now we can see buzzer is off